Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at farming yet again. Uh, and that's because a lot of people in the comments of the last video were asking me, hey, what's the best ingredients to plant in your farm to make money and to level alchemy up? But in short, that's going to be creep cluster, more tapanella, and scaly foliota. And the reason for that is that they make a very high profit potion when mixed together and you can sell those potions for a lot of money so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the simple breakdown of it and then the big overall thing of it so right off the bat I'm gonna tell you that I'm not gonna be able to make all of the planters and stuff in this video because I'm just not even going to attempt to make the planners and stuff. I'm not going to attempt to go through that whole process. I haven't even hired a steward yet. I'm just going to show you guys how many of each thing to plant. So in the big section here, you're going to want to plant seven creep cluster, seven scaly foliata, and 13 more tapanella. I'm sorry that I keep saying scaly foliata wrong. I can't help it it's I can't read so uh, but yeah you're gonna want 7 7 and 13 and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay that is every single one of the big planter here every single plant in the big planter has been planted so now let's move on to this little planter over here that's off to the side right here you're gonna want to go ahead and put three creep cluster three scalies and five more tapanella so I'm gonna go ahead and do that alright so now that's done so in total with these these and then the six extra plant things for the uh, just the plant holders that sit here you should have in total 20 more tapanella planted, 12 creep clusters planted, and 12 scaly foliatas. And that should give you plenty of uh, ingredients to make potions to sell off to vendors. And quite honestly with you, if I'm being quite honest with you, it will level you up way, way, way too quickly. So I would only come back and do this once every little bit because I'm just going to be straight with you guys. If you're playing on higher difficulties, Skyrim has a very steep leveling curve once you hit level, I think, 30. It just gets way, way harder than it was before. So if you're not leveling evenly, it can be real rough so I would I wouldn't suggest doing like coming back to this farm and then just doing this all the way to 100 alchemy right out the gate unless that is you're okay with having to fight with that but I guess that's gonna be the video for the day if you guys enjoyed please leave the like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next one peace out